this here with all the ice on in the booth at the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose yeah jump out boys that's nike boys hop in our coast this shit way too big when we pull up give me the loot welcome to another episode of around the 412 i'm tyler and with me as always are smitty and herb what's up guys Hi. What's up? We'll start the show. Let's get some questions. No. Oh, yeah. God, jeez. <laughs> it's late, so Smitty wants to go home. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. That and with how many questions we have, I wouldn't blame you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, <coughs> not all your questions are getting answered, you losers. Yeah. Uh, Herb. For once, I'm not the dick on the show. <laughs> Herb uh, decided to get on people for not asking questions. and Backfired. Then they got on us. And instead, <laughs> about 40 people sent in questions <laughs> after that. So from now on, when uh, we ask for questions, can we just get like 10 five. people maybe to ask us a question? Because now we just sift through these and pick ones that we're actually going to answer. So we should just go through like week by week, DMing people, ask us a question. Yeah, <laughs> specific people, and just <laughs> have like a rotation. Yeah, I mean, no, we're getting to. All right, Doug wants to. Well, not that Doug. Different Doug. Doug Glatke wants to know where do you guys see Echeverria fitting in, Sean Rod's spot. Yeah, he can play shortstop when Jordy sits. He can play second. Uh, I'd say hits. defensive replacement for second base or shortstop. Yeah, and actually good defensively. He sucks um, at hitting, so I don't know when anybody who says he's good is on crack. Like Herb's on crack yeah. or something. <laughs> I, hey, hey, hey. The you, only you see what he tweeted earlier? The only time he should I like him. The only time he should start is against a lefty. And the thing is, though, Mercer, Mercer can hit lefties. Yeah, yeah. so he'll so get he some start. starts. This he'll get some <laughs> starts in there, but it'll be sporadic. But he's definitely an upgrade over Sean Rod, so that's good. Um, oh, fun fact. David pointed it out. His on-base percentage is only point zero zero five better than Sean Rod's. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> His defense is much better than Sean Rod's, yeah. but anyway. Best pizza place in Pittsburgh. See, I don't feel like I'm qualified to answer this. Okay, one, w- us two are from Beaver County. Yeah. And I, I, like, I mean, Yolanda's by me is fire. Yeah. But nobody knows what that is. I don't really know any pizza places in, in like... Pittsburgh area. Is it a cop out if I say Permanis? Uh, uh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's good for a dollar. See, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you go between one and five or something like that. See, so, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just trying. That's not necessarily a cop out because it's not at all what I was expecting you to say when. Well, I mean, if you're you talking like Pittsburgh, I couldn't tell you like downtown Pittsburgh. Like that's the only one I know. How's the pizza place at PNC Park? Actually, not bad. Slice on Broadway is not bad. Hmm. I actually know the owner of the original one. Um, that's up there, but I. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered Pittsburgh. Like, if you're talking just my area, Berg's down in Bridgeville. Pizza's fucking flames. <laughs> 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 All right. Our mall has really good pizza, too. Anthony's. Anthony's, yeah. But, yeah, I just, I feel Are like. Are you saying Yolanda's? We're terrible Pittsburghers for for this. No, I'm shout out to forward. Jonesy and Donardo. I'm saying Pizza Joe's. <laughs> 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 I like their, their my favorite pizza is from there, and it's their buffalo chicken pizza. Their square See, buffalo chicken bar- pizza. I don't like their regular Ooh. pizza. No, I like their it buffalo chicken pizza. Yeah, it has to be specialty pizza. Fair enough. I'm not answering that one. By the way, welcome to a sports podcast where we talk about food. Why am I single? Uh, oh, is that Ross? Uh, there's a lot of reasons. What's the best month to be born? And I'll answer that because October. I know that Stephen was born in June, and so am I. So Stephen, June. Die February. Okay. This one, <laughs> I know Beefy's been waiting for this one. I know college football isn't your guys' wi- wheelhouse. All right, stop right there. <laughs> you haven't listened to our show since last fall. Or you don't say you have. Or you, uh, yeah. Or you only listen to Herb because Sorry. I love college football. I like it more than the NFL. Okay, continue. Thoughts on the <laughs> Urban Meyer situation? Looking for a non-Michigan fan perspective. I still don't know the full story. Basically, one of his assistant coaches. Um, they had a domestic violence. Do you want to say incident. the coach's name? I, I don't. It's remember. Zach Smith. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> they're I, d- I didn't they're remember. Receivers coach, Zach <laughs> I Smith. didn't remember the <laughs> coach's name. That's why he, that name was trending. <sighs> oh, <laughs> did yeah. you look up why it was trending? And we're like, oh no, I knew like, why. Oh. I knew oh. why. But well. I took a screenshot. Uh, we're looking up. for a new house. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was like allegations from 2015. Yeah, I think. Yeah. 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 And um, supposedly he could have known or not. And they're investigating whether he did know. He's saying, "Well, isn't his wife a nurse, and she has to report it or something like that?" Uh, Urban Myers, I, I I could be wrong. I, I don't, don't know. know. Has to report it to like authorities yeah. or what? Okay, because that's the whole like Urban Meyer is saying that he reported it to his 
superiors, but didn't, you know, obviously report it to. Ah, he's pulling the paternal. So that's that's what I was going to say. Was like obviously it's not on yeah. the, that that level, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, uh <laughs> domestic violence is definitely not something to be taken lightly. No. Um so he's put on leave right now. Um paid leave. Yeah. Uh of course. Come on. <laughs> you know how much money he brings in for that university? Good point. That's why Jonesy said it's like uh we got to quit bringing up Jonesy. I don't want to keep saying his name too much. He said end up showing up. One more time, and he's Speak the devil just right yeah. through the door. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> um, see when his podcast shows up, though. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, like he was saying, he just brings... The same thing happened at... What was... What were the uh, allegations of, of, on him at Florida? I have no idea. Crap. I don't want to That was look. so long ago, I don't remember Yeah, well, anyway, were. like, the thing is... He, he got nothing away was like ever, with nothing. Yeah, nothing yeah. was ever taken action against because look how much money he brings in for the university. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not going to defend it. You know, I, it, once again, it's still kind of like a he said, she said type thing. But domestic violence is definitely not something to be taken lightly. And, you know, if he re- just reported it to his supervisor, I don't think that uh, he has any place at Ohio State yeah. or coaching. Anyway. So the, the investigation that's going on, it, they by the way, that's my team that I root for. I read something yesterday from on Bleacher Report that said that it'll be wrapped up within 14 days. Yes. Hmm. So we'll find out within two weeks. Okay. I have um, a really bad habit of other than like, I mean, I look at the professional sports stuff on the way here, basically, to try to come. But uh, if it's not like something that is in season, I'm not even fault. Like, I don't even. Agreed. Like, obviously, I knew what this was because it made like major headlines. But as far as like the details on the stuff, I really didn't. And that's the team that I technically root for. Like, if I had to pick a team in college football. Rip. Other yeah. than Pitt. I mean. Oh. Pitt I didn't State, know that. You know, yeah. Okay. I Especially do. with Pickett. Um, but yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what the investigation brings. But right now, it's not looking that that hot for Urban Meyer. But I mean, if the, uh, the uh, then again, like I'm not saying like he did or did no, do anything right or wrong. But if the investigation finds nothing, then there's not really much they can do to him. If the Especially glove doesn't fit, you must that, quit. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like even if even if it just is like dismissed, thrown away. That's still going to be I – mean, people are sort of talking about it as if it did happen. Yeah, like, if, as, if he's found not guilty, that's one thing. If it's dismissed or whatever, it's still going to be a blemish on his – Yeah, memory. I mean, apparently Bud and Roethlisberger raped someone. Well, so. that's what I'm that's what Yeah, I'm it's, it's yeah. like yeah. the same thing. All right. Uh, Throwing fast this is an right interesting there. question, actually. If a conjoined twin commits a crime, what would happen to the other twin? You're shit out of luck, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what are they going to do? Cut you in half? That's from Cody, but via somebody else on Facebook. Ah. What are they going to do? Cut you in half? I mean, they in have been half. known to do that. Credit <laughs> when they're born. Right? Right? I don't know. You can get that surgery done anytime. Any it's point? very, okay. yeah. Like, there's there's a movie who, stuck on you. Who pays for it? Do the police? Do the authorities? Do the the? Oh, and that I thought oh, you meant that like point. I thought you meant at like that it's point. It's if I'm the conjoined twin, I'm like the police better pay for it if you yeah, want if you want him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or else I'm suing your ass. Okay, I don't want to answer this one because we're gonna have like a whole another episode like involving fantasy football. Plus, this would take way too long. Oh but, yeah, we are. But this uh, B Y Hilton Jeez. wants to know what would be BYU. your dream fantasy football roster for this upcoming season. So that's gonna take way too long. But yeah, we'll we'll get into that yeah. later. Uh, John again. Also, what'd you say? He said BYU Hilton. I just said BYU. 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 <laughs> BYU. Since the Pirates <laughs> added Archer and Kella, and knowing these are controlled contracts, does missing the playoffs this season become a failure, or does the fan base need to subscribe to wait till next season narrative again? Um. See, I don't think it's a subscribe thing. I think it's you should know that. Honestly, as soon as the deal I happens. think this is it shouldn't. Oh, okay. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm. What I was gonna say was this is honestly something that I've already tweeted about and thought about. Is like. I obviously with those moves, and we're going to talk about them more when we get to baseball, have made me excited for the rest of the season because they are still in a spot where they can contend. Yeah. But I'm more excited for going forward because like this is now probably the most anticipated off season that I've at least in yeah. my mind. Just with everything, like you have the con- the contracts that are coming off the books, the free agents that are out there. Um, they have not saying that they're actually going to do anything, but the options are there for yeah. them to do something. So that's what makes it me anticipate it. Um, but so I, I don't know if it's a failure just because coming into the season, it depends the on where you had them pegged. Were so yeah, it depends low. on where you had them pegged. If you really thought that they were gonna win, you know, ninety games, I, I don't know what the hell you were on at the time. But great for you. Then I guess it is a failure if they don't. I make said playoffs. what eighty three something like that. I said eighty three. He said eighty three. I think it was at eighty five then. Okay, it was I higher than both of you. Uh, was mine eighty or eighty two? I think uh, you might have been eighty one. 
somewhere around that ballpark. But anyway, yeah, about a 500 team, and but you know, with some things going right or wrong, would be better or worse by about three, yeah, three or five games. But uh, you know, with those moves, you would obviously think now that they've, and it, and it's also a day that just like we as Pirate fans have been waiting for, like we needed, like regardless yeah. of if the team finishes any better or worse this year, it's just like. It was a day that all of us pirate fans were for once all together happy. Except about for a something. certain few, but yeah. In general, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, Matthew sucks. No one's always going to be, but it's just like. Tell me something I don't know. He's with Craig. <laughs> but it's a day Wait, that like Craig? pirate fans needed. In the if you he will. deals with him a lot. Shut up. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Know. He's in Boston. I didn't know if Craig was in Boston. Oh, I thought. Never so. mind. You pervert. That's about <laughs> that's about all I want to say for right now. I, I miss that. I'm going to say no. It's, it's not, not a failure. failure. Okay. No. Because yeah. yeah, no. who thought they were going to make playoffs like to start the season? I mean, realistically, yeah. Yeah. not many people. And all I mean, there were a lot of people that thought they were going to lose 100 games. And, they, yeah, and those happened. those were people who were equally as stupid as the people that thought they were going to win like 90-something games. But <laughs> uh, I am excited about the moves just because it's – like we have what we have them till twenty and twenty and twenty twenty one. Yeah. So if you sure up your bench, this becomes a actual legitimate team for yeah. the next two seasons, at least. Yeah, and I don't think I don't know if John is asking that is that as if uh, they're basically like forcing fans to wait till next season, but I think fans should automatically wait till the next season. Oh yeah. Like Going into the season, you didn't know if it was guaranteed. If they do, it's this this season. It's great, like it's amazing. But if, if not, I don't really think it's that big of a deal because they have so much to look forward to going forward. Agreed. All right. Uh, North Shore Nine wants to know what are we doing on no. August eighteenth. Uh, Being sad draft. at work. Um, <laughs> what do y'all think of season five? That's the Nardo. So basically, Spider Man meme because I guarantee it's both of those. Um, season five of Fortnite. I assume. Yes. Uh, I haven't been playing a lot. I'll let you guys go first, whatever you want to say. I was hoping to make this really quick. Okay, so. fine. <laughs> I'll go. Um, battle Pass is disappointing. Um, you disappoint me. Well, the Battle Pass is very disappointing. It seems like the even numbers are better, and then the odd numbers suck. Like, the even numbers... So, Season 2, you had the Black Knight. Great, great Tier 100 skin. Well, it was Tier 75 then. Tier 100 skin. Then you had the John Dick, who uh, was a season three skin. He sucks. Um, then you had the Omega skin for season four. That was awesome. Then you have the Ragnarok skin, who is it's it's okay, but it's not on the level as the Black Knight and the Omega, in my opinion. But it's not as bad as the John Wick skin. Um, so the season five battle pass to me was a disappointment. Um, but I do like the map changes. Um, <laughs> Shuts off, Mike. <laughs> I do like the map chases. I like the rifts. It's just and the meta of season five sucks. Like the SMG meta just sucks. Just uh, like, uh, I mean, I I like using SMGs because they're good, but it sucks that shotguns are complete crap now. Um, seventeen. Basically, season five is not as good as season four, but it's better than season three. So there you go, Donardo. You still right. suck at the game. I want to ask. I want to ask one of Nugent's questions, but not both. So, who? Nugent. Flip a Curse. coin. Ah. Uh, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or ten duck-sized? No, horses? the other one is so much better. All right, fine. <laughs> I mean, I like both. How many third? Now I'm asking if both. I like, anyway. if I like that question. How many third graders you think you could beat up if they came in waves of ten with an occasional fifth grade boss? A lot. <laughs> I deal with it every every summer. A lot. <laughs> None. I wouldn't be able to beat one up. I'd just let him beat me up. Nah, fuck them little shits. <laughs> I thought you were going to say they could just go for your knees or something. Well, that's true. Ah. That's, tr that's true. Um, Wait, which one am I answering? The third grade one? Yeah. yeah. I feel like a lot. Like, is it, I mean, is this like, if, it c if I hit them, are they like done? <laughs> 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 like, Yeah, you just basically swat them away. That's it. I mean, the, yeah, then a lot. <laughs> I mean, what's like a video and really, game? And really, what's the <laughs> difference between a fifth grader and a third grader? Like twenty it's, pounds. It's so. that. Have you seen the uh, the music based game with the bricks in VR? No. The little. Wait, yes. Yeah, where you hit them with like a lightsaber. Lightsa yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like that, but with kids. Yeah. 
And you just cut them in half. That'd be, uh, cool. That'd be a fun g- I would play that game. <laughs> Jonesy says, not a question, but name a realistic trade option and fantasy trade option you'd like the Pirates to make during the waiver trade deadline. It's funny because after he asked this, then they traded for Echeverria. Yeah, and that was going to be my answer. Uh, they, they need a lefty in the bullpen. I do. I don't know who the hell's out there. Can Tony Watson sneak through waivers? Probably not. No, no way. Can McCutcheon sneak through waivers? Probably because of his contract, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give us cash. Kevin Cash? Oh. No, I'm looking at left-handed relievers. I don't know who the hell's out there. Darren O'Day. I don't know. He just got traded, though. Did he? I think so. Well, that sucks. Darren um, O'Day did? Yeah, I thought he did. To who? I can't remember for the life of me. I swear I saw He's also right-handed, so it doesn't matter. Oh. No. Or actually throws both. What? No bats. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ambidextrous. <laughs> no, I read that wrong. Uh, what about let me s- make Ollie sure Perez? Let me make sure he's still on this team. <laughs> I, I'm concerned with what you're looking at right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Oh wait, is he? Is he hurt? Is he, is he not? Is he playing? Is he Jerry. This is Jerry intriguing. Blevins from the Mets. For the Ooh, it's the Mets. Yeah. No, he is playing. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, literally I'm Adam Conley, Miami. <laughs> I'm just looking. He's, they asked for so much from they couldn't trade him. Really? Yeah. I'm what? just looking at like <laughs> people who are left-handed because I have no Miami idea. Miami was trying to sell so high on everybody. Bearclaw, Derek Romito. Jeter, Derek Jeter idiot. disease. Derek Jeter is an idiot. Worst Ooh. owner in baseball. All right, who on the Royals throws with the left hand? <laughs> the Royals. Uh, Bring back Joe Blanton. Didn't they? Is he retired? Yet, I don't know. I think he is. Again, I couldn't. Like this is the problem. I had so many options at the trade deadline, and now it's like Xavier well, Sedano. I know that name actually. I do too. Royal he's on the White Sox. White Sox. That's what it was. He won't be bad. I don't think he sneaks through. Well, <laughs> he's a lefty, so <laughs> I'm just Fair looking enough. up lefty relievers. <laughs> What's his numbers? Uh, da, 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 da. he has. Appeared in 23 oh, games. That's it. 3.780 ERA, 16.2 innings pitched, 20 strikeouts, 1.5 whip. That actually might. Brian Flynn? That's not bad. Where? Brian Flynn from the Royals. What's his numbers? I didn't look at his numbers. I just know he throws his left hand. Okay. Solid. Four of seven. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's basically saying, hey, can we have Stephen Brault back? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Hey, the Sedano's not Somebody bad. that's a little bit let's of upgrade. Let's get him. I don't know. David, tell us what you think. Xavier Sedano. I don't mind it. I, I actually... <laughs> Honestly, was I was hoping they would have thrown in Diekman with Kella. Who? Jake Diekman. Oh, oh that's how you pronounce it. With Kella. Yeah. Okay. But didn't happen. <laughs> Wonder how much more it would have cost. Oh, All right. I don't want to know. Donnie, give me one guy you're keeping a close eye on this preseason for the Steelers. Also, was there ever a more electric debut than Chris Archer's? Did you call one of us Donnie? No, no Donnie Drew and asked Oh. <laughs> Is the way you said it, I thought you were calling us one of them. <laughs> okay. What was it? <laughs> All right, uh, Donnie. Washington. Uh, I'd one put guy that. keeping it. Huh? Washington's the player okay. I, would, All right. I would look out for. And I think Garrett Coles probably was a better debut. More like The likely. thing with Garrett Coles, so stupid, not everybody was in the ballpark. Yeah. Because they, that was the first day that they decided to install those stupid, uh, the walkthrough things. The, like, the, 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 for the, me, like the metal detector type oh. things, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the first game they had at PNC Park. Was Garrett Cole's Stupid? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of the words metal detector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those dumbass. Stupid walkthrough things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you say it like that, it just makes me sound stupid. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for the Steelers, I feel like, yeah, Washington and Edmonds are kind of like easy choices. Even Rudolph with Washington would be an easy decision. Yeah. I mean, um, is it specifically rookies? No. No. That's the thing. I was going to go, like, Vance McDonald's a guy that I'm really excited about if he can stay healthy. Yeah. Um, and that's a big question mark. Uh, and then also, a rookie last year who we didn't see much because of injury uh, is Cam Sutton, who could be their primary punt returner and also has maybe the best ball skills of their defensive backs. Did he backs, play a couple games so last year? Yeah. Yeah. Looked decent. But not a ton. Um, I and that's why I'm, I'm I'm interested to see what he can do. I'm curious to see if Artie Burns is like an actual like top corner now, or at least like a a number one corner in the NFL for a team. Yeah, 
see if there's any rust. Um, I mean. uh, he's looked good in videos I've seen in practice. Yeah. And he only covers A B in practice. Mm-hmm. So fair enough. I hope he does. That's another thing too. I mean, I guess you could just say the defense in general. You know, they obviously were so bad last year when they lost Shazier. So huh. I mean they pulled a guy off the sh- the street basically to play middle linebacker for them, so um Who slots yeah. in there now? Medicavich was listed as a starter for right now. Uh, I feel like John Bostic's going to end up being the starter. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Um, to be honest with you, I think they're going to do a lot of different things. I mean, you know, with Burnett coming in, too, he, d- he plays kind of like a hybrid linebacker safety role. Same thing Edmonds plays yeah. all over the field. I was going to say. So, uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting. Another guy that intrigues me is, uh, and ho- I don't even know if he's going to make the team, is Jalen Samuels, their, a rookie that apparently does everything, did everything at NC State. He's listed as a running back, wide receiver, tight end. So, literally, the flex position is what he's listed as. Nice. Um, I like it. But we'll see. He was listed. I was just going through like some pre fantasy draft stuff, and he was listed as the number twenty five tight end. I was like, like he's on the first page of tight ends, above Jesse James. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, and as far as the electricity behind Chris Archer's debut, like I said, it was like a move that fans have just been waiting for. Yeah. Like regardless Cathartic. of it, not even like. Analyzing the trade itself, just that move, making that move in general, mm-hmm. like the statement that that move makes is just huge for most of the fan base. So, yeah. like I said, it was a cathartic move. And to anybody that thought that they forced the Pirates' hand in making that trade, you're an idiot. <laughs> but that's. I'm gonna but we'll keep my that. piece. Alrighty. Uh, I've so started that things, war once. Some things in the NFL. Uh, Corey Coleman was traded. Yeah. Last week. While the Hard Knocks crew was there filming, basically, the same day, he was traded. Oh. I mean, I don't think they were in his apartment any longer, but his Instagram story yesterday was them filming in his apartment, and then he was traded last night. Like, bitch, you got traded for a seventh-round pick. To the Bills for a 20... Tw- that's essentially just... <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, here. You got traded like, for a guy I saw a tweet that was roster. hilarious. It's like putting your couch out inside your house, just hoping someone will haul it away. Yeah, it really <laughs> was. But I, I just... I don't get it. I mean, I'm a... I really like Corey Coleman. Everyone that calls the Pirates the Browns of the MLB, you're wrong. Every first round pick that they've had since 2011 is no longer on that roster, except for the 2017 guys. But yeah, you mean 2018? You mean 2018? Yeah. Who did they pick in 17? Was that Coleman? No, oh, wait. that was a. Uh, what's his face? They Texas A&M. Three. Did they have three? Miles. Jack. Or wait, yeah, yeah, yeah never, mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah. No, Miles Garrett and, and then Joku. Oh, yeah. And some other dude. Thanks for making me feel stupid for a second. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Started, it all started. It all started with Trent Richardson and Brandon Ooh. Wheat. That's okay. I I said on Twitter that Manziel was the last quarterback to win for them, and I was wrong too. RG three. Uh, RG three. Yeah. yeah. They actually said that during the uh, the Hall of Fame game. Didn't watch was, it. Yeah. No. no, I'm just saying. I that when I heard that, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Because otherwise, yeah, I would have won to Manziel. Speaking of Manziel, made a CFL debut. Ha. Four picks. <laughs> Horrible. Good lord. Horrible. I saw the first one. wasn't even his fault. His wide receiver didn't catch it. I didn't see the first one because he's playing in the CFL. Agreed. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I saw the I saw the first one, and it literally just it was like one of those things where you bounce it bounces off the dude's hands and it's uh, up in the air and it's just like, well, what? shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't realize that backup for him is that hype machine that was at Oregon, that Vernon Adams mm-hmm. that people were so excited about when he's at Oregon. Yeah, um, CFL where rejects can go play shitty football. But I mean, it w- it was funny. Like on that pick, him scrambling in the pocket reminded me of him at Texas A and M, and then he threw a pick. <laughs> I was like, that's not wha- that's not what a Heisman winner <laughs> would do. That's not how that goes. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin had some interesting things to say about Cam Newton. Uh, basically saying he should have gone anywhere else besides Carolina to start his career oh. because he wasn't the leader he was looking for, and he was inaccurate with his throws. He said, basically, if you put me on any other team with Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers, Big Ben, dot, 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 you know what I'm trying to say. So, oh. yeah, he took some shots at Cam Newton. Yeah, really. Um, and I, I, I don't get it. It's Cam Newton just go, you fat ass. <laughs> it, it, Cam Newton just, like, put up on his Instagram Live. He was just working out, and he just said, not going to go back and forth with this. No, yeah, right. no, there's no reason yeah. to. Yeah. Isn't yeah. Calvin Benjamin the one that was supposed to be so good and then put on, like, 100 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Fat ass. <laughs> now he's in Buffalo. And he could still rip my head off my body, but I don't care. He's in Buffalo with Corey Coleman now. Yeah, he looked pretty thick. Not gonna <laughs> lie. I don't, yeah, he is huge. 
Here comes Bucko Mike. I thought he used to be a beast and never materialized. But it's for another day. Uh, Steelers training camp. Not a whole lot to say other than the fact we're going to be there on Saturday. Yes. So if you're in the Latrobe area or are coming out for <laughs> some weird reason or thought about coming out, come out. Yeah, I know that we see people on uh, Twitter that we follow and stuff that are at training camp. So, you know, if you happen to be there on Saturday, we'll be there. Um, might use the Twitter page to, you know, put up some pictures of guys uh, doing stuff. <laughs> Analyze practice a little hold bit. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 the phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose so people can pull this from I the show. Know. Yeah. Donato's just like, oh, yes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, the content will be good on Saturday, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, would you say Sam and Kwong are going to be? Oh, I mean, Sam's an intern out there. Yeah. Kwong is most of the time out there. But it'll be an interesting time. Might have someone join us if he can find us, potentially. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is I've never been to train camp that I can remember. I um, yeah, I've never been. So period. I went when I was very young and don't remember going. So hey, chauffeur, you're driving us, right? Gonna be interesting. What'd you call me? <laughs> 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 hmm. Anyway, <laughs> he's just gonna be like, "I'm not picking you up. You can walk." <laughs> and it's, that'll be right after their first preseason game. They play on Thursday, so oh, nice. Are they off on Friday? Yeah. Hmm. All righty. So moving to the NHL now. Uh, Jeff Skinner was traded. That trade was poo. For, like, a bag of pucks. Poo. Like, how was that the best that they could get? Poo. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Is that how it's pronounced? Charlie yeah, Poo? Or poo. Cliff Poo? Okay. Cliff Poo. Yeah. <laughs> I was making sure it wasn't, like, pa. No, it's Cliff definitely everybody poo. Everybody was going to be disappointed. It's definitely <laughs> poo. <laughs> I'm pee. five. I'm five. But, um. Well, yeah, wh- no. What were the picks? Uh, was it like a, a third rounder? and a third and a fifth or something like that. No, it was. A, I think it was a second rounder. It was a second or third rounder this year, and a fifth and seventh rounder the year after. So the both I both of what I said could be right. <laughs> they didn't get a first round pick for him. Nope. No. Nope. They got a middling prospect, a third round pick. A fifth I mean, if we had cap middling. space, we could have done that. Poo. <laughs> yeah. Anybody should have been able to do that. Uh, Why didn't the teams that have cap space? This is the do title. It? Why didn't poo. we? Why didn't we just ship out cap space and do that? Because they probably didn't want more. You're right. They didn't want Carl Hagelin. They wanted Poo. <laughs> poo for seven hundred twenty-five grand over Poo for Is this dude going to play in the NHL? No. No. And if he does, <laughs> oh well. He's going to win the Art Ross one day. Why are the Sabres good now? Well, I, I asked him that, like looking at are their roster. Are they good or are they still like, I said the fourth best? I said America. they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. They're gonna by contend. not bad. I mean they're not like the bottom three in their division, but they are, however, the bottom four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned! Because you've, you've oh. still got Boston, Toronto, Tampa Bay, and uh, Florida in front of you. They might be better than Florida. No. Florida's the only question mark, though. Yeah. Obviously, the three are going to be better than them. Yeah. So Those three are better than them. And then I'd say uh, the deadline. Canadians. No, Ottawa is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ottawa. How did I forget about that shit Montreal show? and who's the fourth team? Or who's, a, who's the other team in the Atlantic? I'm just letting you figure this one out yourself. Detroit. Ah. Yeah, I was just saying, even if I Those figure three. it out, I'm telling you. Yeah. They're bad. So they're obviously better than those three, and they're obviously worse than the other three. The only question mark is Florida, but I still say Florida is better than them. So do you think? And be- there's five teams better in the Metro, so they're still not getting a wild card. There's seven teams better in the Metro. <laughs> I um, meant at least five. Yeah, so, do they contend for a wild card? No. Okay, that's what I wanted. They, what I wanted to they will be. They'll contend for two a or three spots. Of the wild cards. There'll be two or three spots under the second wild card. Okay. That's right. what I mean by that. They'll contend for being a contender of the wild hey, card. Look, but they won't Smith be a contender the of the wild card. <laughs> Tarnishing the name. Dan Mullen. Florida guy. It must be terrible to have a stereotypical white dude name. <sighs> yeah, so Zachary was actually the most common boy's name used in 1995 for babies. And Smith right. was obviously the n- number one. Was the most white name in the world. Last name. <laughs> so I literally had the most popular name for male babies in 1995. Tyler nice. Weeks. <laughs> My name is definitely not popular. Yeah, you're a plant. Oh. <laughs> you uh, get it now? Yeah. <laughs> Here we see an oligar. <laughs> what? The plant. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that before. 
Speaking of contracts, though, John Gibson, extension. Whoa. Yeah, now I know whose jersey I'm going to get. Oh, yeah, and the throwback one? Yeah. Yeah. I think I want a normal one. Me too, Raquel. Th- you, <laughs> you know what I want? I want that one they did with the Angels last last season. <laughs> it was a warm-up jersey. It was sick. I said I Raquel, I it, but... Eh. Gibson's from Pittsburgh. It was a it's a decent extension. It it'll be great when he turns out to be Ryan Miller two point oh. Um six point four mil a year. He's always great when he plays somebody, in Pittsburgh. Somebody com- yeah. Except somebody for his debut in Pittsburgh. I'm saying he's normally bad. Yeah, there, there oh. were I think he's only been ass. Yeah, yeah. I think he's only been <laughs> good once. I was at both of those. Um ha- Crosby had a hat trick in one. I was there for that. Yeah. Um but no, somebody compared him to uh Rick DiPietro. Hmm. Which will be interesting. <laughs> Let's see him fight. One punch. Get get Brent Johnson on the phone right now. <laughs> we'll find out if he's Rick DPS. <laughs> but uh, Mark Stone, right? He signed too. He didn't sign. Oh, that was arbitration. Yeah, he won. I Seven point three five or yeah, something. Yeah, after like? the Sens gave him what, like a three million low ball. Yeah. God. William Carlson agreed to a one year deal That's for five point three. Yeah. yeah. God. Uh, CC got like 4.3. That's Stone got Sam. like 7.35 or something like that. Off the top of my head. Yeah. That's what I think it is. I think Smay just said that, but okay. <laughs> did he? I was say, did you miss the first one that we <laughs> said before Carlson? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was reading a tweet. Uh, Other than that, there wasn't much. Yeah, not not a whole lot going on in the NHL. Uh, when does Nylander the does uh, not want to take a bridge deal. Yeah, and I don't blame him. Yeah. I wouldn't either. So what gets done there? That'll be interesting. What gets done? I don't know. Six over six. Maybe. Or maybe you talk him into a bridge deal. Because that's <laughs> always possible. Um, if I were him, I'd take one year and then go into next year where they ha- and then they have to negotiate with all oh, three. At the same time. Yeah. Oh. oh, that'd be horrible. Yeah. There's a good chance that at that, that point you'd probably lose one. Yeah. You have to trade one at that point. Because... One or at least one out of the three is going to be playing with Tavares, so his numbers will probably be inflated. That's, that's Marner. Marner. Well, that's a, and, no, and Marner's the one that. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. The, no, Marner's the one that, like, <laughs> what was it? Him or his agent or people? So I don't know. Someone's saying like the number should like the discussion should start at ten. Fuck that! Oh, that's his dollars. Parents. That's his <laughs> <laughs> That's Marner's parents. Mm. Ten what? Million. For what? Nothing. For him. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Credit, if that's a starting, sure, because you need to start somewhere. But it's going to go down. I mean, you always ask for more than you're worth. Because someone's stupid enough to give it to you. Somewhere. But realistically, if he's on a line if he's on a line with uh, it Tavares. Start that way if he wants to play If he's on a line with Tavares and he gets a point a game this season, like if he gets at least 82 points, he could probably get close to that. Oh, definitely. I'm not saying with the Leafs. I'm saying someone will probably give it to him. Yeah. Well, the good thing is they're all RFAs. Does 82 points really get you 10 million of free agency? At this point, maybe. With the cap going up, maybe it does. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Definitely does now, in my mind. Mm. 90 points, 100% gets you more than 10 million. Well, I'm just I'm trying to think of some guys that are that just recently signed. That have had similar, a similar number of points. Tavares. That's <laughs> really it. Yeah, but he's a center, so it's different. Yeah, yeah. So then you're looking at comparison for Nylander. And Tavares. Kinda. Nylander played center like five times. I know. <laughs> I would say like less than ten games. Yeah, it's up in the air. We'll see. I can't I wait know. for Augie to be back. What, like fifty some days? Yeah, uh, what is it at? Is it 57 or 58? I don't know. I think it's 7. NHL, what player is it? <laughs> I think it's Latang. Is it Latang? Is there 57 in the league? They should have posted it on Instagram, Perron. I think. David Perron. Ah, fuck him. They didn't. Wait, did he go back to the K? Myers. Where did Perron sign? Perron? Yeah. St. Louis. Yeah. Oh. Four, four years, four million yeah. a year. Yeah, Something I forgot like about that. that. Damn. Fuck him. Myers is 57. Okay. <laughs> if you don't want to use Perron. You don't. <laughs> mm. Hello? What? Check Twitter. 
NBC Sports. There you go. NHL on NBC. No one's. Uh, Chris Letang days. Nice. Okay. Look at that. I knew that. Okay. I All think right. it's enough hockey. So, a little bit of baseball. Um, a little bit. Like we've already talked about. I mean, the Pirates, uh, I guess you could say, won the trade deadline <laughs> for the first time in our lives. Yeah. Uh, for the first time in, I think, anyone's lives. <laughs> Archer, <laughs> Kella, and, uh, well, now, Echeverria today. but. Yeah, <laughs> On the Don't dampen the trade on deadline. Tra- <laughs> on trade deadline day, which was Tuesday, last Tuesday, um, you know, I'm sitting there at work, and I literally just was – I had to charge my phone three times. Like, I'm just yeah, scrolling through. Dude, I was up when that Kela trade, Kela, whatever his name yeah, was, I got was announced. Not, yeah. I was losing my mind because I wanted to know who they were, and they're like, well, we can't get a hold of the player. I'm like, it's Hearn. It has to be Hearn. And it came out, and I'm like, Smitty's going to kill himself. Rip in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a tough one. Yeah. Um, but, you know – it. Good for him. Talking to him, yeah. It wasn't, you know, I guess it wasn't what I expected. Um, I knew that he was from the area of, mm. of there, but I just didn't realize how close. Yeah. You know, it's like basically as long as it takes us to get to Pittsburgh. Like, yeah. Away. Less so, than an hour. Um, you know, he grew up a Rangers fan, so uh, it was pretty cool texting him and him telling me, you know, he gets to go home. Obviously, his mom hasn't seen him pitch in a long time. Yeah. Um, his sister was able to go to his game. His, uh, she has d- to be his Double A fan. debut down there, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, he had a successful debut. Um, I told him, just so you know, I'm still going to be keeping tabs on you. <laughs> um, but we are still friends on PlayStation. He didn't delete me after getting traded, so thank God. Okay. Um, but, yeah, best of luck to him, and we're, we're still waiting for a player to be named later to be announced. Which Until is kinda, you play the Pirates. Yeah. Which then is kind of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is kind of uh, worrisome. The, the one going to the Rangers I'm not totally worried about. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. The one going to the Rays I think is going to end up being... One of Kramer and Newman. See, I'm hearing Cruz name popped up Yikes. a lot, and that's where I'd rather bite the bullet and it be Boz. Unfortunately, sorry Shane. Um, just because I am a huge fan of Cruz, I'm Same. on I'm on that train. Um, he's in Baseball's America's top 100. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, is he in the pipeline. Or no? No, no, I don't think I don't, he's in I the think pipeline. He's just because uh, yeah. Swaggerty's in the pipeline. Boz, yeah, Boz is our fourth prospect, and he's ninety fifth on pipe on pipeline. Okay. And Cruz is number five prospect for us. So I don't think he made the okay. the cut on there quite yet, but he's only nineteen. Yeah, he, so he better not be part of it. He still has so much body to fill into. That pause, God. <laughs> <laughs> the fr- like that six foot six frame. And you know who knows? He might even that's probably what people said about Polanco. That's what people said about Polanco. But he he's might a freaking shortstop. I'm saying the body part. I know. I don't care what position he plays. I do. Have so you seen the big shortstops coming out recently? I, I regret this phrasing. <laughs> do you think he's just stick it short? Yeah. I, it's just so hard to imagine for me. Here, I think he first will. base. It'll be such an anomaly. Will he? Six foot six. If he keeps the, if he keeps the speed though, I'm saying it'll be an anomaly if he does it. I'm not saying I'm oh. not doubting that he can. I'm yeah. saying he'd be the only like person of his size. He's gonna be the first off. to do something, right? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like hard to even picture. Could but could you imagine Aaron Judge playing shortstop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of Aaron Judge, he can't swing a bat yet. No, no, um, he can't. So and the Yankees can't either. So whatever. But back to these trades. Um. It better not be Cruz. I, I'm okay with almost anyone else. Well, obviously, I'm not okay with Keller on top of <laughs> no, the, well, no. We're up it's already. not Keller. I d- we Hayes has been told it's not him. Yeah. From texting Shane, it's not him. However, yeah. you know, maybe the organization's lied change. to him. Yeah, yeah. things change. Um, we can't be swaggerty unless it's after the World Series, and if it were, I would kill myself. No, I think they're waiting uh, for the minor league season to end. Yeah. Uh, and then beyond that, who's? Who's right after Cruz? Um, I would know. kill you myself. You know that more than me. What are you talking about? The prospects? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to think who's sixth on our list. I don't know who about Baseball America. If I can get Pipeline. Yeah, I'm talking about Pipeline. Okay. Um. Oh, Cole Tucker. I won't mind seeing him go. Keller, Hayes, Swaggerty, Boss, Cruz, Cole Tucker, Kevin Newman, Kevin Kramer, Brian it Reynolds, it Calvin Mitchell. It has to be a middle infielder has to be. They wanted one, and we have a plethora of them. Yeah, so 
And Tucker, I th- Newman, I, Kramer are all middle infielders. I don't think they're going to be willing to move Cruz. Don't, don't touch Cruz. Just because of that trade. Because they knew what they wanted. That was kind of... Was he the throw-in part? Or was that... Was what? Who who'd we get with him for Watson? Or wait, who? Yeah, Watson. Or somebody uh, else. I can't. Honestly, I, can't remember I don't remember. Name. Yeah. Oh, there's Judge on the TV. Um, both of them look decent. I think Cruz was the one where I was like, yeah, he could be good, but right now he sucks. How? Yeah, he he ju- he was like at number twenty one. Yeah. How are the White Sox twelve games away from officially Angel Herman under five hundred? Oh, that's who that was. Uh, pitcher, right? Yeah. Yeah, he seemed like he definitely had a, a better upside, but uh, I don't know where that's getting them. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so with that, though, out of the middle infield guys that we have, Newman is the closest to the majors. Yeah. But I think Cool Tucker's better. Going to be better. I agree with that, but I think Newman right now is in an interesting spot because, like I said, he's changed the way he hits. So if he keeps that up, that might be in his favor. You know, might make him a little better than yeah. Cole, but he has but zero defensive ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I thought. I mean, he can steal bases. I mean, he's <laughs> the leadoff hitter down there. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I'm definitely higher on Cool Tucker for me. So I, I would trade. I would if Kevin Newman's the guy. I'm perfectly fine with that. What about Kramer? Kramer's not Cruz, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay. I would rather it be Newman is the guy that I. Would most like it to be Fair out, of, out of the people that have been rumored or whatever you want to say. Um, so I- as far as the Rangers one, it's probably going to be it might not be somebody that's on the top thirty. I list. really, I honestly, after the trade today, I think it is going to be Newman because they need somebody close to the MLB to play short next year. The, the Rays, yeah. Well, where's what's his name playing? Willie Adams, or whatever. The number one of the top prospects. I thought he was an outfielder. No. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, I don't know where he's playing right now, but I could have sworn he was an outfitter. I don't even know if he's still listed as a prospect actually. Probably not. What's his name? Willie Adams? Yeah. yeah. Not a prospect anymore. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So they do need a pr- they need a prospect. <laughs> I wonder where Newman would fit in on that prospect list. Probably not very high. Also, the Astros are, like, all dead. They're all hurt. Yes. Oh, okay. Didn't know he was a shortstop. He's hitting 209 this year. Ooh. And 129 at-bats. Ooh. All hey, right. I, I have a shortstop that's hitting, like, almost 300 in the minors. <laughs> yeah, take him. <laughs> um, anything else regarding the Pirates, at least? God, yesterday's game was frustrating. Uh, yeah, uh, the game we were at was pretty frustrating. Too, Saturday so night. The last two, yeah. I watched, or no, I didn't even watch till it was four four. I woke up when it was four four and went back to bed for twelve hours. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it got back to four four. Everyone in the stadium is feeling good, and then Alex McRae is the pitcher. Why? The Why is he still here? He's not. He's not. Guy. He got sent down. <laughs> oh, Casey Sadler's bike. Sweet. Yeah, I actually like that. Which is funny because I mentioned him at the game mm. when we were there. Mm. I was like, "Where's Casey Sadler been?" Tommy John. Boom. Okay. Well, I know, I know, I, but I knew he was back to Quato. the Giants. Quato. Oh, yeah. Quato's having Tommy oh, John. Oh, man. Oh, the Giants suck. <laughs> oh, the Giants <laughs> suck so much. It's great. Not. Thanks for stepping on my foot. Will Smith. <laughs> that would also be nice. I don't think he would fall through waivers, though. Um, I don't know what he makes. That's the thing. Good point. Um, What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Can't remember. Yeah, no. You know who would be really nice right now? That was incredible. Brandon Compton. Yeah, uh, he pitched for the Blue Jays, right? Did yeah. he start yeah. uh, last week for the first time since 20... Did he start for us in 15 at all? Yeah, uh, I don't think he... I'm not sure if he started. I know he pitched. Okay. Uh, and he ended up named Tommy John the, the that winner. Yeah. Um, Two years. Two freaking years. I really liked him when he was here. Wish they somehow kept the hold of him, but good for him. He made it back. My most memorable game of Brandon Compton's was of the doubleheader. Against the Cardinals. Oh. Where he won both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. game one. Yeah. Impressive. Alex Speaking Preston. of Blue Jays, Donaldson's back. Oh. Good, because he's getting traded this month. He was out? He's been yeah. on DL for a while. Jesus. 
That's why they couldn't trade him. I think he was on he was on the sixty day deal. I think. Ooh. Hey, Don. What do you, do you think Stroman gets? Well, not traded, but like Wait. after the season. Not they'll waiver be. traded. They'll Maybe. listen. They'll listen at winter meetings. They're sure. they're at a point where they have to listen uh, to everyone. Yeah, I but I think that oh, I can't even imagine what they're gonna ask for him. I'm not sure. All I know is you don't have a chance at winning in that division for the next like five years. True. So good luck. Sell, 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 sell. Imagine trying to sell that to your fans though. Listen. We did the Yankees and Red Sox in the division. <laughs> We're just going to sit back and let this happen. We have the Monstars. <laughs> We're going to sit back and let this happen for and a couple And we years. have the Monstars, <laughs> and then there's us. And then there's also the Orioles. So we're not the worst in the division. Yeah. But we suck. We're going to compete with the Rays for we have the Monstar. <laughs> we have two Monstars teams, and then we're the Looney Tunes without Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. We have Ken Giles. Yay. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. You already covered the Quater thing. Um... I feel like there were other things. I'm just drawing a complete blank. I mean, I'll just bring up that Friday was the first time since 2015 I actively saw everyone engaged in a game. Yeah. True. Like, everyone. Like, especially that pitch that in the second inning where he struck him out with the bases loaded. Yeah. That was probably the, like, best atmosphere of a game mm-hmm. that I've had have had since, like, 2015. We were sitting in my buddy's ha- uh, farmhouse just watching the first couple pitches of the what game. What the hell were you doing? Like, we can get into that. We have time. No, we don't. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I clicked on a video. That definitely picked up. You have time. <laughs> yeah, good point. But um, no, we were just sitting there, and and they and the two kids I was with, they just go, "Watch, it'll be a first pitch home run." David texted me. Did he? Yeah. What uh, do you say? I gotta go back and find this because it's gonna bother me if I don't know, know word for word. <laughs> And then we came back in the second. What are the one. odds Arch is already a pirate in Marpto's yard first pitch? <laughs> what time was that? 7.06. Impressive, Dave. <laughs> Impressive. And then I said zero, to be honest. Strike three swinging on his slider. Impressive. And then he ended the inning. Strike three on his slider. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. That was so funny. They just Both of them just ran outside screaming, he fucking sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, no, he doesn't. Watch Jesus the game. Christ. Wasn't it you that said play that video at your funeral? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till the city turns on him. Oh my God. They hate pitching with emotion. Stop. Stop. They hate it. Pirate fans can't have anything nice. I, I've seemed to piss people off. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> no, you're not pissing me off. I don't care. I can, I can see it happening, but I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't happen because this is actually like... The way that we Big. acquired him should actually make people happy and not hate him. I, I can't. Although people are already asking who's going to pitch in a wild card if we get it, get there. Philip Hone needs to shut his fucking huh. mouth. I don't even think it was him. I saw him tweet it. He might have tweeted it, but uh, that's not the first people I think it was talking about it. <laughs> okay. It's interesting. I think it has to be Archer. I think there's only three guys it can be. I think there's only two. Curious to hear. Archer or Tyon. I was uh, going to throw in Musgrove, Musgrove, but... Ooh. Bullpen. Bullpen. I was only going to throw in Musgrove because Tyon is... is Archer, like Archer gets four. So inconsistent. Musgrove gets two, and then you go... That's me. I'm sorry. I got lost. Crick, Keela, Vasquez. Ryan, 24-34. Sent you a story by Nightmare. They can definitely be... That bullpen is just so good. This team is there's built not, for bullpenning, there's except not for the teams, manager. There's not teams that really like have good long relief guys. Like that's why they are the long relievers. Mm-hmm. But that's why it's so important for these starters to get some length. Yeah. Which we didn't see that this past no. weekend. Did, like, the game that we were at Saturday, where McCray pitched like four innings, I wanted yeah. to kill it was myself. Three and a third, yeah. Was, yeah, basically bad. four. He's wanted bad. to kill myself. He's very bad. You know who they should have brought up? JD and then they Brew brought Baker. up. Then they brought up Neveroskis, or brought in Neveroskis. Well, first they brought up him. Why Why did they bring him back up? <laughs> Second, they brought him into the freaking game, and Matt Carpenter like put him in his little crib. <laughs> what a freaking idiot. <laughs> Take off 66. I, I couldn't tell you. Clint Hurdle's a fucking idiot. <clears throat> Bold statement, because God knows what's going to happen next week. <laughs> What's next week? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Gotcha. I wonder oh. if he's going to be seen in that. 
I, I would shut I up know. immediately. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't think we brought that up. No. Next Thursday, potentially. Maybe Friday. Pay attention. <laughs> what, what we're teasing That's this so wood. we're teasing this so hard. There's e- there's probably like six people that I've actually told to. Yeah, but I've told like three. All right, and none of them listen to the podcast. Okay, yeah. I, was, I was just saying you think we should just tell people, but no. All right, keep on the lookout. It'll be fun. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be real fun. All righty. Well, uh, I think that's get, all I have. Well, we're gonna get David on here and whenever he can. Some more baseball talk. Yeah. Maybe. So. That should be interesting. Uh, I'm an Indians fan. Shout out to Jeff Hartley, the latest guy to have our shirt. Yeah. Put up a picture, so. <laughs> it's Jeff, not Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy <laughs> to see someone at a game wearing yeah. our shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think to bring that up. So we're standing there, and um, I just looked to my right, and I looked right <laughs> under the rotunda, and I'm just like, that thing's either wearing a shirt, or there are knockoffs of it now. That'd be funny. And Beefy's like looking like right at him. He's like, I don't see him. It <laughs> took like three minutes for him to finally see him. And I was I looking at the wrong end. Like he was on the f- the far end. I was looking at the closer end. Ah. So I took <laughs> a so I took a Snapchat circle where he was at and stuff. And I was like the whole time I'm like I want to go say something. I want to say something. Finally, Beef was like, should we do like over there and talk? So we went over there and uh, introduced ourselves. And I was like, hey, around the four one two. And he like didn't didn't think realize that we were them. He yeah. just thought that like we got our shirts from them too. And then I was like, yeah, we're two-thirds of them. The other third couldn't be here tonight. And he's like, oh, you guys are actually, like, the guys <laughs> that do it then. And then he started talking about the shirt and stuff like that. But it was really cool. I, I, and then we noticed that the design is his profile picture yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, shout out to him. He was like, wait, who are you guys? Oh. And he's like, yeah. oh, that's you? Takes off the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I thought it was great. Mark Madden. Oh, oh. That but, was low. All righty. <laughs> that was low. We will talk to Apparently mini, I am mini stadium guy here in a little bit. He has a name. Is it Resnick? I don't know mini, what his last name is. <laughs> mini stadium guy. I don't know what his last name is. It's either Dave or David. I have to ask him which one he wants to go by. <sighs> I'm going to say it's David Resnick, so stay tuned. Fair enough. For David Resnick. Hmm. <laughs> Our lockdown, we made no moves. Now it's 4 a.m. and I'm back up popping with the crew. I just landed in, chase me, mixes pop like Jamba Joe's. Different color chains, see my jewelry really selling fruit. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't hear a song. <laughs> Whoops. Um. You guys are hearing my cover of Happier by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> okay. Because if Smitty does it, we don't get copyrighted. I really hope the fan isn't picked up. Now you can hear it. Yeah, so there's... A, no, yeah, it wasn't there before. Okay. Um, should I DM him and yeah. see if he's ready to go? And if he's not, tell him to be ready. Go crazy. But yeah, no. Um, anyway, after... After Dave almost killed himself. Um. <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> Do you follow Harley on Twitter? No. Oh. Okay, then. Okay. What? Ready when you are. Cool! Can I see your phone, Smitty? Why? Just so I can get his number off the DM oh. and not have you say it. Nah, he's not a prospect. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to dox someone. I'm joking. I know. I go along with bits, okay? Did anybody watch the Rough and Rowdy last night? No. I, uh, I don't even know. Like, is it just people that work there fighting? It's definitely not people that work there. Well, then I have no idea what it is. Because I thought it was their employees fighting each other. But there I'm completely wrong. Smitty Barstool. Smitty Barstool got killed by Ninja at the at the uh, Red Bull Rise to Dawn event that Ninja was hosting. 
and Ninja bet him. <laughs> there was a vid- I don't know if you watched the video or seen it. He, Ninja was like talking to him. It was like the two guys from Barstool. I don't I only knew who Smitty Barstool was, and uh, he said that uh, I'll bet you a hundred thousand dollars you can't kill me. <laughs> That's oh. what Ninja said. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and he said, like a hundred thousand dollars, and he'll donate to whatever charity he wants if he kills him. Okay. And he and Ninja killed him twice in game. <laughs> um, okay. So we're gonna have him on. We're gonna stop, and then we're gonna record the outro. Okay. The outro is gonna be me saying bye. <laughs> okay. Beep beep beep. Yeah. Beep, beep, <laughs> beep, 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 beep 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 beep. Okay, ready? You had to bring up that episode. <laughs> You're doing the talking again. People like you. Hello. There he is. What's up, guys? How we doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Not bad. Hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before you start recording, for yeah. clarification, you want to go around. So yeah. So here. this is Herb, the deep voice. <laughs> Hi, Herb. I'm Tyler. Hey, Ty. And this is Smitty. Okay. I'm sorry? Smitty. Smitty. Yeah. The, the main one, you know. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> the, 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 one, the one from Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way he's known now. Also, I don't want to mess it up. How is your last name pronounced? Resnick. All right, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, we just want to make sure. That's what we thought. Oh, you're okay. good, man. Okay, all set? All set. Okay, we're going to get going here in three seconds. Cool. And we are back with our most hyped up guest to this point. Yeah. Mr. David Resnick. Hey, guys. If I had clapping on We insert the clapping noise here. (laughs) There it is. (laughs) All righty. So some of you may know him. Some of you may not. Um, We're going to try to put him on a platform as much as we can over the course of these next uh, couple weeks. Because what he's doing is really cool. So if you want to go ahead and maybe describe a little bit for the people that don't know what's going on, what exactly you're doing. Sure. So I'm building a scale replica of PNC Park. Um, I'm actually working on it as we record right now. That's awesome. It is about, let's see, it's about two and a half feet by one and a half feet, it looks like. I could be off a little bit. But anyways, it's going to be really cool. And when it's done, we are raffling it for Miracle League of South Hills, which is an absolutely incredible charity. Um, And I'm privileged to have the chance to kind of work with them throughout this process. All right. So my first question, how did you get in contact with them to be able to do that, like, for them? Um, Well, (laughs) so this is the, let's see. This is, I think, the 13th model that I've built. It's the second one that we've raffled for charity. We did um, Minute Maid Park in Houston last year. Um, So obviously, the first thing that should be stated is, um, without fail, that means you guys are going to win the World Series this year. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No. (laughs) So we we just, I had a really good experience um, with the raffle process. So when I decided that I was going to do PNC for the next one, um, I kind of hit a couple of people on Twitter from Pittsburgh that I did know, which was not very many people as of four or five months ago. Um, And they kind of directed me in the, in, in Miracle League's way. And I got in touch with them. I said, Hey, this is what I'm doing. I'd really like to do it on behalf of you guys. And they were all about it from day one. So it's been really, really cool and very positive experience. All right, so obviously the decision to do PNC Park was before the whole Miracle Leagues thing and, like, find out about them. So why PNC Park? It's the it's the prettiest park in Major League Baseball. You guys are really, really lucky to have it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask – I heard you say that on NS9. I still had to ask you on here. <laughs> <laughs> Just to hear you no, say it, it again. It, it, it really is. I'm, I'm not even a little bit ashamed to say it, as a matter of fact. I'm a total ballpark nerd. I've been to eight, uh, seven so far this year, and I'm going to two more in the next two weeks. Um, I've been studying ballparks and appreciating ballparks pretty much my entire life. And n- literally nothing comes close to it. And I, I know I said it on, on NS9, but I'm going to say it again. 
you could probably pick it up and move it to another city and it's not the same yeah the sky the sky like (laughs) we've all seen the photos and you know highlights and all that stuff and the first time I was there in the press box, like the skyline feels like a wall of buildings right in front of your face. And it's just incredible. Mm-hmm. So, uh, bro, th- I didn't even have this on here, but real quick now that you brought it up, what stadiums have you been to and which ones are you about to go to? So I've been to Safeco just this year, Safeco, yeah, yeah. Dod- Safeco Field, uh, Dodger Stadium, Progressive Field, obviously, Minute Maid Park. PNC. I was just at Fenway. Um, and then I'm, and the, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and imagine. It, it was, I mean, it, it was my first trip there and to do it for a Yankees Red Sox game. It was, oh. there's it, nothing like it. No. Nothing like it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to SunTrust and I'm going to uh, great American ballpark next week. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you brought it up. Uh, you're an Indians fan, right? I'm a huge Indians fan. I'm also a baseball person. So if you guys want to talk baseball, <laughs> I pay attention to everybody. <laughs> Fair enough. We do have one question from a fan perspective, though. What is it like sure. to make it to a Game 7 of the World Series? It's heartbreaking because I've seen it twice and we've lost both of them in extra innings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nobody deserves that. No, no, they really don't. <laughs> from a Pirates fan, at least you made it there. <laughs> And from Trust a Pirates me, fan, what's it like to have Rajai Davis actually do something for your team? Oh man, Rajai's <laughs> like a he's like a god here now. He is. <laughs> oh. No, I I don't even know what to say about it anymore. Ha- Seriously, watching them lose in extra innings in Game Seven twice in my lifetime without getting a win, I'd almost rather you go to the World Series and get swept. At least you're like, oh yeah, no, I was in the World Series, it was great, and then we got swept, and that was the end of it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask you, I mean, obviously it's heartbreaking when it happened, but I didn't even think about the the other time that you saw it, but I was going to ask you just, like, what the 2016 season was like for you as a fan of the Indians. The whole thing was incredible. Look, everybody knows that, you know, Cleveland's been dumped on for <laughs> longer than longer than any of us have been alive. Yeah, yeah. And, and, when, Lebr- and, Le- when, and when LeBron came back, it genuinely felt different. And so they win the title in the middle of the Indian season that year. And during the NBA finals that year, they, the Indians started a 14 game winning streak. So, oh, so, right. so, so LeBron wins us a title and then the Indians don't lose for like a week. <laughs> it was unbelievable. <laughs> it was totally unbelievable. And then game one of the world series that year was the Cavs home opener when they raised the only championship banner I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it was a pretty cool day. <laughs> it was a pretty cool day. <laughs> I can imagine. Jeez. All righty. Let's, let's talk. What about was the things. win streak last year? 22. 22 games. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Jeez. I remember that you because know, we brought it up and they almost lost. Oh yeah, that's right. Whoops. And then they did lose <laughs> when they brought it up the following week on the, on uh, NS nine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Crazy. Well, I can I I try I try to t- you guys will appreciate this. I try to tell myself, well, you know, a 22 game winning streak's only happened like twice ever, but somebody wins the World Series every year, so you know that's like a great thing, right? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> it really it's no consolation whatsoever. It's like we just the Pirates the past <laughs> what week week or so they won a or a week ago or so they won what 11 in a row and it's yeah. only the second time they've done that in franchise history or something like that really like, yeah. yeah and they it's... did and you guys did double that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well two of those two of those were against us yeah i yeah, forgot yeah. about that jeez yeah you guys you guys were playing so well bauer ended it all <laughs> yeah bauer oh man bauer's been ridiculous this he year is. so uh, he's been how totally about... ridiculous this year now, this wasn't, like, something that was, like, actually going down between the teams. But it's interesting because we brought up Bauer. So, at one point on MLB Network, they were discussing a trade proposal between the Pirates and Indians. This was back in 2015, or after 2015. Oh, you'll like uh, this. Andrew McCutcheon <laughs> and Tony Watson for Bauer, uh, Bradley Zimmer, Naquin. Francisco Mejia, and Naquin at the time. There's that, no chance that's real. <laughs> that, that was, no that was, that was, that was something that was brought up by Mark DeRosa on yeah. MLB Network, and Pirates fans got wind of it, Indians fans got wind of it, and it just this the screenshot 
because it actually had like a um, graphic for it. Mm-hmm. Just was going nuts on Twitter. So I could probably go back and find it. But I believe that yeah. somebody reported that. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's no, <laughs> no. chance that was legitimate. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I saw it that. It could have been. It could have been two or two of those guys, or maybe three at a push. There's no way you. No way. There's oh, I no agree. Way. I agree because I remember seeing that and I was like, yes, now, yes, please, thank God. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now uh, Bowers, like, a w- god. Yeah, because I mean, for the longest time, it's like he was like their fourth pitcher. Yeah. Right. You well, know, yeah. behind Kluber, was... Carrasco, Salazar, and then it was him. And oh, now, god. don't 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 get me started on Danny Salazar. You guys can have him. <laughs> in fact, in, in fact, if, if you if you guys if you guys buy me one of those unbelievable sandwiches, you yeah. got give me a Permani sandwich, and you can have Salazar. Okay, just one. He might, just one he might fit it's into fine. our uh, need for a long reliever. <laughs> he might. <laughs> good luck. All right, really good luck. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so <laughs> what what other passions do you have other than obviously? Um, so I. It's it, it's strange that you should ask that. Not many right now. Um, I ah, where do I begin? So I did the first one of these, which was not at all what they're like now. When I was um, 14 years old, which was the first year the Indians went to the World Series in my life, '95. Um, I never touched it again until three years ago. I was kind of in a transitional state <laughs> it's, a, it's a really nice way to say it um and i decided to go back to architecture school so these models actually got me into kent state architecture program and i'm about to enter the third year and one day i'm going to design stadiums. so this really is my life awesome yeah. well i don't want to ask you my my last question but that is like would be a great segue but i'm not this is, it has to be my last question so i refuse to ask bring right it now. no you ask me as many questions as you want <laughs> no no but like this one specifically has to be the last one that would be an incredible segue but this has to be the last one so uh, go for it all right well okay so your first stadium that you built uh i, I remember you talked about on ns9 but like what if you could describe it as all compared to like what they look like now what did it look like? um i I think it's on my website, actually. If you don't mind, I'm going to do a shameless plug. Um, my website is www.davidsministadiums.com. Um, and I was featured in The Plain Dealer, which is the local newspaper in Cleveland in 95. Um, it was huge. It was made out of, like, cardboard box cardboard. Um, <laughs> it was not not the same at all. Um yeah, I, I think I had to actually like color the cardboard with either markers or colored pencils or something to get the green effect of the walls, and it was uh, <laughs> it was very it was very different. All right, so how does how does one get into this? Like, what made you want to start doing that? Well, so you, <laughs> does anybody have one of those little ceramic replica stadiums? Yes. You've seen those, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. Yeah. Right. They make them for every stadium ever in history, and you can buy them at the team shop. Yeah. My my grandpa brings me one home when I'm 14 as a gift. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. He leaves. I'm looking at it, and I said, I could make one cooler than that in my 14-year-old head thinking that I actually could. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of how it started. I, Man. How would someone else get started? I don't know. Come and hang out with me for a day, for a week. Yeah. <laughs> I can show you how I do it, and then you can do it your own way. Yeah, no, because I remember, I remember when I was, I don't want to put like an exact year on it, but it was probably somewhere in the mid-2000s when I was real little. I remember pretty much doing exactly what you are now, where I was like, I want to build stadiums and just be absolutely creative with it. Because um, they used to make uh, Lego ones, and I used to follow yeah. that all the time. Um, but now it's kind of like, oh, those were great. Oh, they, de- oh, they were, we, we, uh, there was one that they had of Heinz field that they had the stadium. Now they have one at PNC kind of tucked away in a little corridor. That's freaking awesome. Um, well, the, you, you mean the one that's like at, by the catwalk that goes out to yes. the Jim Beam lounge? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the professional one Yeah. <laughs> that was built by the architects. Yeah. And I'm like, that's what I want to do for a living. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. One day that that'll that'll be me. Yeah, no, that would be awesome, dude. Yeah, those are yeah. That's like the pinnacle. Yeah, 
So, how much time would you say you put into making one of these? It's a couple hundred hours each. Um, I'm sure that there are ways to cut that down. Like, if I if I really wanted to 3D print some of it, or if I wanted to laser cut some of it, I could probably do that and wind up shaving time off of it. But these aren't... I don't look at them the same way I look at like the architecture projects that we do for school. You know what I mean? Like this is more of art, whereas those are more of uh, professional. So I kind of feel like taking the handmade quality out of it um, takes away some of the charm. I can see that. Yeah. Um, like how exactly do you do it? Cause I, I noticed uh, the update from earlier where you added the other side of the river I feel oh, yeah. like that would be harder than the stadium to find accurate uh, like representation of those buildings. Um, you'd be surprised how easy it is. It's the same process for like for finding all the textures. Like, you want to find like like you know do a Google image search for 2013 National League Wild Card game, and you'll get an image of the scoreboard, right? Yeah. And you just kind of and you just kind of toy with it in Photoshop until it's a perfect rectangle, and then you print it and adhere it to a piece of cardboard and there you go yeah. so it's kind of the same thing for all the buildings across the street i mean sometimes it gets a little tricky because like trees will be in the way so i've got to manipulate a little bit and, you know it's just it's basic photoshopping though yeah uh and then i i can't remember if smitty asked it in your dms or not did you ever think about adding water to the river he, he is oh, oh we, i did oh i, I completely did. missed oh, no, that it's, it's in there now oh my god where i've been living <laughs> under I, think, a rock. I, I, think, I think i opened the d yeah i opened it so you probably never even saw no, it I was didn't. there yeah <laughs> oh get it get in there <laughs> i was completely off the grid friday night saturday morning oh my god that's awesome he's showing me the pictures now oh my yeah, god so i actually i found the stuff it's like i just said yo water it's like um it's like sealant like, you know, like yeah. if you're like clear liquid sealant that you buy at Home Depot. Yeah. And I just kind of, I just kind of like spread a layer of it on with a, with a paintbrush and it gives it this great, like actual water reflective effect. And I'm really excited to put the lights in because I feel like the lights are going to bounce off Ooh. the water and it's going to be really cool. Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh yeah, no. Like, that's 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 the goal. Oh, definitely. Yeah, but like I said, Friday and Saturday, I was I was off the grid. <laughs> that's probably when I missed that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you you just mentioned about the the working lights and stuff like that, and it's kind of like a oh, yeah. representation of the thirteen wild card game. Uh, what are some other details that these people can expect to see if they're not following yet on the updates? Work? Sure, sure. So my fav well my favorite part was um was building the rotundas like. Oh. I feel like that's the that that's the piece of the actual building of PNC that's different from everywhere else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the way that they designed those, it's just different. Everybody, you know, a lot of places have rotundas, but they're just they're special at PNC. Um, so those are those are crafted pretty carefully. Um, like the netting, there's there's actual netting in the in the outfield wall near the bullpens. Um, I'm actually, I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, wait, what are the really great details? <laughs> um, okay. So, so you'll, you'll have to remind me and I'm, I know I'm going to sound like an idiot when I say this, but the, uh, the Northeast corner that the Roberto, so the Roberto Clemente bridge, you go North and it hits what street? Yes. Um, uh, uh Liberty Avenue. No. Seventh, right? Wait, I, I mean, if you're talking about the, the Roberto Clemente, Bridge goes Street. to Liberty Avenue. Well, yeah, but I don't think you're going that far. L it, no, the, Liberty the Avenue. Corner, is... The corner, like where the ticket office is. Oh, uh, Federal oh, you, Street. Duh. Oh, you're talking about like Federal the street. street. I thought you were talking about. We thought you were talking about across the river. Oh no no no! no. <laughs> like on the ballpark side. Sorry, yeah, see that yeah. Federal Street. That's <laughs> my bad. Um, that's a really cool little detail. So you know that whole building. Um, that houses the team shop and ticket offices, and I guess the executive offices are in there. I think so. You know how it, you know how it's kind of like it's sunk back from the street. Like there's pillars like right on the street, but then yeah. you walk and there's an underhang to get. In, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's actually modeled three dimensionally in the model, so you can see these little pillars. 
And I keep trying to get a good photo of it, but it's difficult to get really good lighting in there. So I'll try again, and if I can get it, I'll send it out to you guys tonight. Oh, man, this doesn't look great, my basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I what what I want to know is when well, I started doing. <laughs> no, you ahead. know what? You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> um, no, I, I, when I started doing this, this was a hobby for me, and to like to see the reaction and the positivity that it gets is so cool, just for me on a personal level. But I, can you guys describe that to me? Oh God! I mean, like what? Like what makes this cool for you guys? I'm I'm genuinely interested. For me, it's the, it's the same thing like you said. It's just awesome. Period. It's something that I wanted to do at one point and still kind of do as like a, a as like a fallback thing, I guess. Um, the other thing is, I one of my family members told me they saw it on the news, like our local news. I don't know if they reached out to you or anything, but they saw it on there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> No, I haven't heard a word. Yeah, I think it was like Channel Two out here had it on it. Had it on no for kidding. a couple minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, I didn't know that. cool. Okay, so for me, I mean, I just in anything, I just look for the realism of something. Yeah. So like, you know, that's why we play when we play video games. We look for the graphics, you know, because it makes it look right, real. Right. Right. Um, so when you see, you play Fortnite. But. <laughs> so, so when you see, um, you know, a PNC Park, which is your favorite stadium for your favorite baseball team. Someone's created and is actually going to have working lights and a scoreboard from the best baseball game I've ever been to. Um, you know, it's just it's it's incredible, honestly. Yeah, especially that atmosphere that you picked, the 2013 wild card game. That's that what I'm saying. You you literally picked the insane. game that for most people, I mean, at least people our age. Yeah. Um, that's the baseball game. If you ask them, what game do you think about when you think about the Pittsburgh Pirates? Yeah. So. And, and I have to imagine that like. I, I understand that being a Pirates fan is kind of like being a Browns fan. Maybe you got maybe it's actually better to be a Pirates fan than to be a Browns yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was actually going to ask you, um, like, because not for our lifetime, most of our lifetime, the Pirates have been like a losing team the whole time. Yeah. So I was wondering, like, for us, it's like as Steeler fans, it's like, well, at least we're not Browns fans. Have you ever thought as an Indians fan, it's like, well, at least I wasn't a Pirate fan. Um. <laughs> I feel like you gotta I go like at least I wasn't like a Royals fan. <laughs> you know what? I was. I was. Well, see, now they have a World Series. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they won the World so. Series. So <laughs> I used to be able to say that, but not anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do have the same kind of thought. I don't know that the Pirates is the immediate one that I go to, just because if we were in the if, if we were both in the NL or the AL together, I'm sure it would be different. Um, but that's also part of the allure for this for me. Like on my end of things, it's like. I kind of want to build these four fan bases that I can get along with mm -hmm. and interact with. You know what I mean? Like y you will never see me build a model of Yankee stadium. I'm not going to do anything nice for those people. Period. <laughs> agreed. Especially after the, the past series and how they were on Twitter. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, they're, just, they're, they're, they're unbelievable. We, you know, we don't need to get into that. No, no. <laughs> um, but you actually brought it up. Um, my whole idea for the past couple of years that I keep getting shit for um, would be swapping the Pirates and the White Sox in the divisions just to get those natural Do rivalries it. back. Plus Do you get a Civil War in Chicago. <laughs> the, well, the only – yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. The only problem with that is I don't know that, that – I don't know that baseball would deal with both Chicago teams in the in the NL. It might explode. What about if we trade the Twins? I want to play the Twins more, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I like I'm being selfish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, want, you, want to, you, want, you, you actually want to deal with Paul Molitor? Good point. <laughs> Very good point. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you I don't think you thought that one through, my man. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> he tends to not do that when he says this stuff. So asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys gonna make the wild card? I mean, I uh, predict we would. I don't think so. Honestly, all I'm asking for at this point is keep playing competitive baseball. Keep it interesting for me. Um, I didn't expect a whole lot from this season, and uh, they made moves. To obviously improve their team this season, but now I'm just looking forward to the immediate future more than anything. Like I said to these guys uh, recording before we brought you on, uh, like I don't know if I've ever anticipated a off season more than like this upcoming one now because it just gives them so many options in free agency. They're gonna have money, 
and they already have like all their building blocks set in stone. So, I mean, Archer is just such a str- it's a that's a power move. I was yeah. I was surprised. Like, no offense at all, but like I I was like, oh, we were too. Yourself. No, yeah, don't take offense because uh, <laughs> we we were surprised too. So like, all, all Pittsburgh. I guess was. I should have brought it up on our actual show, but I forgot to. So now I was, I'm gonna bring it up while he's on. Um, the did you see the article that I referenced? Uh, Bob Nightingale making a mistake in about oh, yeah. Archer McCutcheon jersey. Did you look at that at all? No. Yeah, uh, I did. I it's did. actually uh, a pretty good article other than that mistake uh, where McCutcheon's just like kind of – like he doesn't say anything bad, obviously, about the organization. Yeah. But it's it's kind of like, you know, where were these moves before? Like why was this not done, you know, in, in, the, in with the years we were contending? Even more so than this year. Yeah. Like we're actually farther back right now than we were in like 2012 when we ended up being terrible. At this point, so like Jerry Meals, you know why? Why was now the right time to make the moves? Um, you know, I can't answer that really. I honestly, no, I get it. I get I, it. It's it just they they did it, and um, th- there's like I said to these guys. I mean, obviously, you know, some fans are gonna hate whatever they do, but it's like for once in unison, pirate fans were together on something. It's really cool. Yeah, it's uh, really cool. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> Did you guys see the real quick side note? Did you guys see the um, the Chris Archer shirt that PJ Spalding Company came out with? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah we did. I just ordered one. I did nice. too. I did I'm too. not. I'm not even a Pirates <laughs> fan. I was just like, that's way too cool, but not all. <laughs> I I said that like the hat, the hat makes it for me. The pillbox hat. Oh yeah, the, yeah. It the is pillboxes cool. are are very. Those cool. guys are awesome. They actually. It's funny because I think the day that we uh, said about you coming on was the night when they tweeted me and said, when are we coming on the podcast? Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll at least one of them, hopefully both of them are going to be on at some point to um, talk about their business. Oh no, they're both coming on at the same time somewhere. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you that now. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so can I, can I drop, can I go backwards one quick second? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to go backwards regardless. So go ahead. <laughs> and then we're going to back. <laughs> um, so I see, I see a lot of similarities with the way Pirates fans feel about your team right now and the way the Indians fans felt about our team like three, four, five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. And I I just, I said it on, on North Shore nine and I'm going to say it here too. We were wrong. We were wrong. Okay. We like 95% of Indians fans, we're like the Dolans are cheap. They don't want to pay anybody. They don't want to go out and sign anybody. They don't care for any good. They don't care if we compete. And we were all wrong because it was Mark Shapiro. Fair enough. God. And I just feel like I don't know that it's the same. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But I just feel like that's something Pirates fans should hear right now, just in case it's a similar situation. Yeah, I mean, we were at the point when before they went on that 11 game win streak but we were saying what is the problem because obviously even if it is the owner you're not going to change that there's no way yeah and even if you did they're still playing in a small market yeah. pittsburgh like how you, what do you want to put right. another 10 to 15 million dollars in a team is that going to help them compete with the dodgers or yankees no. exactly so well that's that that's just it and it, 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 what brought this on what made me remember to say that is you know you were talking about where were these moves when they yeah. were good in 2013 but it's the same equation, right? It's the same equation. Like you have McCutcheon, he's having MVP season. But if you still need a first baseman and a shortstop and two starting pitchers, okay, you go and trade for Chris Archer, you're still not closer. Yeah. So you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. It's 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 yeah. all it's a timing thing. And if you've got the kids who are ready to to hit then maybe they do make that move. Maybe they value some of those prospects in the farm more than you, more than anybody thinks they do. You know, if it wasn't for Lindor and Ramirez hitting at the same time, we would not be good right now. Yeah. And as a point. small market team, it's like you have to, you have to, right. You have to develop those kids. You can't just go trade for it. Completely yeah, agree, it's, it, it's all about, I mean, we have a friend, not to throw them under the bus, that is always arguing just trade the prospects for the name. <laughs> And, it, and it's and that's the thing. It's like it's not that simple. It's a balance. It's not that no, simple. It's, it's about it's about making the right move at the right time. It's not always one or the other. It's not always trade the prospects right. for the proven guys, and it's not always trade the proven guys for the prospects. 
Exactly. Like, I don't, I don't think we would have traded Francisco Mejia for Brad Hand five years ago. There's, no, in yeah. fact, I'm sure we wouldn't have done that five years ago. No. Yeah. <laughs> Today, it makes sense. Exactly. So. Um, yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, there's definitely a lot of similarities yeah. just in market size alone. So yeah. it's going to be oh, interesting 100%. to see the Indians in a couple of years and see what they kind of have to do. We'll see if uh, – well, Jose Ramirez, by the way, might be the, one of the best contracts in baseball, if not the best. Right yeah. now. He's but. he's not just the best he's not just the best contract. I mean, yes, he's probably the best contract in baseball, but I am privileged to watch that guy play. You know, and I, I go back to those nineties teams and even then, like, you know, Tommy was great, but he was really just a home run hitter. And beyond that, we had like, you know, a bunch of guys that hit three hundred, but like Kenny Lofton hasn't even made the Hall of Fame. Omar Vizquel hasn't made the Hall of Fame. So okay. Were there any superstars on that team other than Tommy? Don't get me wrong. I'm not slandering my favorite team of all time. Those teams were wonderful. But you didn't have two superstars like Lindor and Ramirez, and Ramirez is just yeah. – he's. I, I think he's better than Lindor. I can't believe I'm saying it, but that's the reality. I agree. I actually Which agree. is crazy because I think most people thought that crazy. Like, he was like a flash in the pan yeah. the first year. A lot of people compared him to right? like the 2014 year that Josh Harrison had. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, don't yeah. remind me. You want to hear a crazy story about Jose Ramirez? Sure. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, in the Dominican, they have, um, they call them prospect games. Like, that's how yeah. Major League Scouts go down there and find kids. It's like the community sends up games. It's not high school or college kids. It's, you know, it's just kids. And, like, they set up their own games. And the Major League Scouts come down and kind of have a look. Jose Ramirez was an alternate at one of those games. Oh wow! Jeez. He wasn't even supposed to play. <laughs> That's nuts. He, else. Yeah, nuts. That is great development too. Oh yeah. God, that's one thing. You know, you you gotta, but you got to, but you got to get a little. But do, do you? This is what I keep looking at. I'm like, you guys have some talent in that farm. There's no question. Yeah. You know, is it gonna develop into a Jose Ramirez? <laughs> I hope so for your sake. I can't, you know, nobody can guarantee that, of course. But, like, you know, that's how you do it. Yeah. All righty. Well, I said I had one question to go back to at the end just because I wanted it to be the last question. Um, I'm curious. So, if you could build a stadium in any location, where would you pick and why? Oh. Oh, that's a great question, man. We're talking about a baseball stadium? Yes. Oh, come on now. <laughs> hmm. They yeah, can no, have I, they can I, have a stadium right right now too. By the way, yeah, it... but I'm not sure I I would go there with it. Okay, I've got you got I me thinking I, on that I, too. I think it's I think it's Montreal. Oh, that's that's I what think I, it's I, guess. I, I I guess that you were gonna say that. They've got that city is gorgeous. If, you, if, you, if you've never been, I highly recommend all, all of Quebec, but Montreal specifically is beautiful. And you know the fleur de lis is everywhere, inscribed, and it's like the old European style architecture is everywhere. And to kind of like draw from that and build something that's new but speaks to old, I just think that that's like the perfect canvas. I kind of agree with that. The only other thing that popped into mind was maybe putting in a stadium across the uh, the river from like uh, the Statue of Liberty and the New York skyline. Maybe. You you know what that was (laughs) that was the second that was the that was actually the first thing that came to mind. (laughs) I I just I I couldn't actually go there. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my head, it's like (laughs) Alaska. Are we really talking about (laughs) Anchorage Stadium? (laughs) Yeah. The Mets can play there. It's fine. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I actually really like City Field. I like that it's um, architecturally they kind of threw it back to Ebbets Field. You know what I mean, with the colonnade at the and the rotunda in the in the front at the entrance. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, so I'm not sure that I could. T- I, I they could have picked a better location, obviously, but oh. I don't think they were ever going to leave that spot. No, never. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but you guys get to see them pretty frequently there. It must be nice not having to go to Shea anymore. Yeah, I mean, uh, the three of us. Uh, did you guys ever go to New York? Because I know I didn't. No, never Beefy. been to New York. Not New York Mets. I've been to Yankee State. I've been to both Yankee stadiums. Okay, but oh, I, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think. Have you guys been to any other specific stadiums? Because I've only done Camden. Yeah. Uh, oh, progressive. Awesome. Baltimore, Cleveland, DC. I think Cincinnati. that's it for me. Cincinnati, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've only been to PNC and then but old oh, and new Yankee Comer- Stadium. We went to Detroit. Oh, wait, yeah, we oh, did. Oh, we did. Oh. Comerica. <laughs> wow. We went to Comerica. Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> oh, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year, too. Have yeah. you have you ever We're been idiots. to Detroit for a baseball game? I have not, actually. Okay, so the Pirates. Surprisingly nice stadium. The Pirates, uh, AT&T Sports, Robbie Schmikowski, the guy that, like, does their. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen him, if you, if you know who he is at all. I'll start is, with that. He's not the guy with the giant beard, is it? No, 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 no. He's like the the in-game host, kind of, like the pre-game and post-game stuff. Yeah, like he works for the Minnesota Wild right, right, Baseball. And, yeah. um, oh, okay. But, so, we see him, and he's just like, oh, Pirate fans. So, of course, we go have a conversation with him before the game, like right by their statue of the Tiger and stuff like that. And we're talking to him, and um, he's like, where did you guys stay here last night? Because I know you didn't find a hotel in this shithole. Yeah. <laughs> just like he, just very candid about how his feelings with uh, Detroit. That's why I was curious if you've ever been there because I hear that it's not uh, the best around the ballpark. But no. the the players were staying in a very nice place that was like an kind of, hour like, away. Yeah, an hour away from the ballpark. So, well, I've been I've been I've been next to it. I just haven't uh, seen a game there. Okay. I actually have a really good friend of mine who's from Detroit and lived there for a long time, but recently uh, moved to Paris. Oh. Uh, but yeah, big big change. <laughs> um, but he was telling me that Tigers fans don't like it. Really, it's it's nice. Yeah. There's nothing that makes it stand out, though. It's just that a. Exactly, that's it's just how a I feel generic ball. Yeah, it's just a generic ballpark that. You know, there's not like a like you mentioned the rotundas at PNC and the skyline. It's like there's none of that. It's just a ballpark. Right. Right. Like, there's nothing that makes it terrible, but. Yeah. I, I, no, it's it's not awful, yeah. but. There's, there's not there's definitely nothing special about it. Yeah, I mean, it's not Coors Field where the Pirates are playing tonight. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> you guys like Coors? Uh, not I... the actual gameplay inside <laughs> of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it plays the launching pad. <laughs> Starling Marte is a career 500 hitter at Coors Field. Oh God. <laughs> yes. Oh, tonight should be fun. Um, they should sign him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, like for me, Detroit might be my favorite stadium that I've been to outside of PNC, and I think part of that is just because like the the way we planned our trip, because I can't remember exactly how it went down, but we were sitting in the first base line um, on a Monday against I think it was the Reds. My buddies turned around; it's me, Smitty, and Tyler sitting behind them, and they go, "Oh wait, Smitty wasn't there." Nope, Smitty was wasn't Tyler. there, and yeah, it, was it was also against it was against Detroit. It was a home and home. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah. So that's what it was, and they turn around, they're like, "Hey, they play in Detroit on Wednesday. Do you want to go?" So two days later, we're like, well, how much are tickets? They're like, what, 12 bucks, something stupid like that? Yeah. And we're like, okay. And meanwhile, Tyler had literally just gotten back from Boise, Idaho, or wherever it was. Utah. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. He literally That's just so landed. Good. I said, hey, I have a free ticket to the game. Do you want to go? <laughs> He's like, sure. And then two days later, we're driving to Detroit and back in the same day. <laughs> That's great. That's super cool. It was something. All right. Well, um, so I have to I have to ask you guys one last yeah. question because I'm um, obviously new to Pittsburgh Twitter. <laughs> yes. Uh, you guys might be as neurotic as we are, so that's good to know. Makes me feel right at home. Um, what's the hashtag liability? Oh, uh, that's the, was, oh. Remember that guy I just said was hitting 500 at Coors Field? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Colin Dunlap, who is a host on 93.7 The Fan here, Sports Talk, um, said that him and Polanco, and the, he, the thing is, he didn't want people to see this, I don't think. Because he, he definitely tweeted, didn't. He tweeted it at somebody in a conversation, just said, no, their biggest issues are Marta and Polanco, who are both liabilities. And that just and it became, ju- and it just kind of, somebody it saw it, it got quote tweeted, everybody on Pittsburgh Twitter saw he, it. He like <laughs> double and tripled down yeah, and, and quadrupled down. He kept moving, he kept moving the goalpost. All of a sudden, oh, it was course. they weren't liabilities because of their their actual play. It's because of their contracts, and the Pirates, yeah. not, as an average team, can't have those types of contracts on there. They should sell them off. And then it was because because he was suspended and he doesn't play 150 games a year. <laughs> so he just it honestly he just kept changing what it actually was that he was saying. And uh, yeah, so that's where the liability part comes from. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you if you f- keep following Pittsburgh Twitter, uh, our media is potentially some of the worst in North America. <laughs> it is horrible. I've heard, I've heard I've heard some stories so far. 
So um, I mean, you you know who Mark Madden is, right? I do. That should say <laughs> enough. <laughs> fair en- you know what? You know what? Fair enough, man. He is king. <laughs> point point taken. <laughs> All right. So you said is so you brought up that was going to be the last question, but I actually have one for you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> so you said that quiet. you said that PNC Park is your favorite stadium, and it's like the prettiest stadium. In your opinion, since you like are into architecture and everything, what is the worst stadium in baseball? You can ask me that. Uh, I don't care what you say. Man. I know you're going to say the race. Mine might yeah. actually be uh, no? Great American. A's? So I, I'm going to – you know what? I have had this weird negative impression of Great American in my head for a very long time. But recently I've done some research and I have learned that they incorporated some elements of Cr- – Crosley was their original one, right? Crosley? I think it was. I believe so. Okay. They incorporated some things from that that I didn't know and makes it more interesting to me. I'm going there next week for my first trip down there, and I'm doing the ballpark tour to get the full story. Yeah. So I I will send you guys a response for that one specifically next week. Okay. Yeah. No, definitely. However. Okay. Go ahead. No, you. <laughs> no, 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 go, go, go. I'll come back, I'll come back, I'll come back. Um, but when we went, I don't know if it's because we didn't do the tour or anything, I felt like it was really cramped and really small and just wasn't very uh, friendly, I guess. More than PNC? Yes. Really? <laughs> Surprisingly, yes. Interesting. Workers were that great, was, that w- Yeah, th- no, that was my only qualm with PNC is that, you know, I was the only time I've been there, you know, there was, I don't know, 10,000 people there, 15,000 mm-hmm. people there. It was a small crowd. It was, be- you know, it was before they went on their run, and it was before they made the trade. Yeah. So it was a small crowd. And even then, the concourses were packed, and I they felt very narrow to me, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of being someone who studies this stuff. And, I, and I, I couldn't help but say to myself, wow, I can't imagine what it's like when this is a full house. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> but you're telling me that, Great Americans even worse in that regard. I felt like that. I might be wrong, but personally, I felt like that. Um, and the funny thing is, too, I don't know. Did you do the tour whenever uh, you were here? Mm-hmm. PNC? I don't know. I, if did, they, I did. I don't, I don't know if they mentioned it. The one thing they did with the stadium because of the uh, the city's plans, they did, or they were going to have the stadium go all the way up against the water, but the city wanted to put a river walk in, so they pushed it back right. and sacrificed the uh, concourse. Oh, you yeah, know that makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Now it's like one hundred percent a regret, but. <laughs> Right, right. No, but but what you said a second ago, your your emotional reaction to that mm-hmm. that ma- that matters. Yeah, you know, architects talk about that stuff all the time. That's that's not irrelevant in the least bit. In fact, when you know when we're building projects in school, that's the first thing they talk about is you know what are you trying to make people feel. So your physical reaction to something is absolutely paramount in the yeah. design process. Fair enough, uh, but. Not, we got completely derailed on there. What was your personal uh, worst design stadium? Or whatever it was. Do we need to... I, I think I might need to caveat that. Are we talking about... Are we talking about ones that have built, been built recently? Or are we talking about just everything that still stands today and is being played in? I, was uh, yeah, I think any anything that's being played in by the teams right now. Yeah. I mean, it's Tampa Bay and Oakland, and they're right there with each other. Yeah. Yeah, I said the Coliseum. You know, so that's... It, it, and, and I think you probably have to put Tampa Bay as the number one just because Oakland fans are such good fans. I put yeah, Oakland really as are. number one just because when we played there, I don't remember who fun. was hitting, hit a double, and it just went into a hole that was in the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. come back out. Wasn't that like two years <laughs> ago? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's my number one <laughs> terrible stadium. Didn't, didn't Tampa just get uh, they got go approved? To, yeah, they got the go a new stadium. New stadium. Did they? Did they get the full go? I know they. I know they released their renderings, but I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't tell if that was just a proposal or if that was actually okay. We're official now. I, I think it was. I think official. it was approved. I can't, the, yeah. I can't remember if it was in St. Pete or actual Tampa, but I believe they got approved. So well, they're mo- yeah, they're, I know they're the, moving uh, it to Tampa across the bridge, which should, I mean that theoretically that'll be good for them. Yeah. Maybe if they get but, oh, to the World Series again, they can get 18,000 people at a World Series game again. Yeah, that would be something else. Wait, is that real? They had 18,000 people there. When they <laughs> the yeah. 
<laughs> Does Ray's Twitter even exist? Uh, I did see one. We do have a half of a fan as part of Pirates <laughs> Twitter as well. I did find one Ray's uh... fan. I did. <laughs> All right. Well, um, well be- before before we go, guys, I just I want I, I want to I wanna say I just want no I just, no it's not a plug I just no I wanted that. you to shamelessly plug. <laughs> well, I, okay, I tell you what, I will plug at the end. All right. But what I really wanted to say is that part of what makes doing what I do cool is knowing that I wouldn't keep it, I wouldn't display it. I love building them. I've you know I keep my progressive field model for myself. That's what I need to keep myself satisfied. I display that in my house. I wouldn't display a PNC model in my house, not because I don't love you guys, not because I don't love the ballpark, but because it's not my team. And the coolest thing is while I'm building it is knowing that someone's going to love it. And someone who's a Pirates fan is going to keep it forever. That is just too cool to me. I don't know why you're not just saying me by name, but yeah, I am going (laughs) to love it. Ah. It's going to look great in our future studio. <laughs> in our yeah. future studio. And then for the raffle, what are the uh, specific giveaways again? Obviously the stadium so itself. We're, yep, so the, sta- the stadium itself is, is the number one. Um, the then, then we have three shirts of your choice. So you could grab those Chris, Ar- Chris Archer shirts from PJ's Clothing Company. They're putting up three shirts. So that's one, two, three, and four. Um, and somebody said that there was going to be something else. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> for anybody that's still listening, this has been a great conversation, by the way. <laughs> um, we are going to use one of our shirts as a giveaway. doesn't have to be the Trust the Bucking Process one. We just highly recommend it. I have a feeling it's going to be a different one by the uh, time that happens. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, something that might be happening next week may, might persuade somebody to pick a different shirt. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do one of our shirts as well as a, as a backup uh, option if you don't win that great stadium. So... And that's awesome of you guys. So that's five total winners. For um, uh, well, all right. So give us the information real quick on the as far as yeah. the giveaway prices and stuff. So it's ten dollars for one ticket. Um, I think it's thirty dollars for four tickets. I think it's seventy-five dollars for ten tickets and a hundred and thirty dollars for twenty tickets. So a little price break. The more tickets you buy. Yeah. Um, it's go.rallyup.com slash mini PNC park. Um, and we are perilously close to hitting the $1,500 mark with a little under two weeks to go. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. But we, yeah, we got to, uh, keep up with, uh, promoting it every day, but definitely we'll oh, we're, yeah. we're on it. We're yeah. absolutely on it. You guys know you guys have been awesome. And the North shore nine guys have been awesome. And a bunch of mm-hmm. pirates. Twitter we're going to have to awesome edit that just... part out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's like a friendly rivalry. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> only one of them. Only one of them actually lives in Pittsburgh though. So, <laughs> well, okay. So, okay, oh, you know what? I wasn't going to say it, but I'm just going to say it anyways, guys. I think that we're they better. were jealous yeah. that you guys were having me on. <clears throat> I'm serious because yeah. I know you know, you know that I was on their show um, last week. Yeah, they swooped um, in. Yeah, well, n- not only that, but you know, I'm I'm sitting here watching the Indians game last night, and my phone rings with a four one two number. I'm like, who's this? And I answer it, and they hung up real quick. And it rings again with the same number, and I answer it, and it's them. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, what's up, guys? And they're like, oh, sorry, no, we didn't mean to do that. They must have had it just like you know stuck in their call log from last yeah. week when I was on the show. But I'm like, man, like, what is this? You know, I'm gonna be on around four one two tomorrow. Are you just trying to like, <laughs> what, what, what's what's going on here, guys? They 100 percent did that on purpose. 100 <laughs> percent, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love those guys. You guys are they're awesome great. too. And really, really, just at least someone the, loves the... them. <laughs> <laughs> The way that everybody has been positive and interested in helping get the word out has been um, really, really cool to see, and I am very grateful for that. Yeah, no, Absolutely. thank you for doing what you do, and it goes to a great cause too. The, you know what? Can we can we just plug that really quick to end sure. this, to wrap this whole thing up? ML South Hills is unbelievable. It's Sean Casey's freaking charity. Uh, <laughs> it we it gives kids who don't have a chance to play Little League, a chance to play ball. What could be better than that? Nothing. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Nothing. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's really, really, really cool to be able to do something for them. Um, and everybody's donation, whether you win a shirt, whether you win the model, or whether you unfortunately do not win anything, 100% tax deductible. Fair enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Forgot about that. And you'll feel good about yourself. Yes, you will. For exactly. Exactly. And you're going to help some kids get to play ball who otherwise wouldn't be able to. Well, uh, we can't wait to see the finished product. Uh, I can't wait till it's in my basement. And uh, <laughs> we can't wait to see what the next stadium is going to become. Yeah. But uh, Well, we we might have something extra cool for that. So please, uh, please keep an eye out. And I'll let you know soon. <laughs> awesome. All righty. Well. That's been Mr. David Resnick, who is working on the Mini PNC Park, which we are going to continue to tweet out pictures of, uh, running a really cool uh, raffle for one of his stadiums, PNC Park specifically, for uh, Miracle League South Hills. So thank you for joining us, and uh, we will see you, David. Thanks for having me, guys. Take care. Yep, Go Pirates. See you. <laughs> Bye. See you, man. Okay, and then we add a lager here. And then I have to play music. Uh, n -n 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 -n. Should I use Take your time to hurry up. I don't want to use the same song. What should I use? Squaw! I don't know. Uh, something from, you have Max. Mac. Here's Mac it. Miller. Oh. <laughs> Max. Max Keebler. Max with a K. Max. As in Mac taking ownership of. I'm just playing self here. Oh, that thing's gonna look awesome in my basement. <laughs> okay. Where is it gonna go in there? We had it on video last week. There's uh, no room. Well, we will, I'll make room. <laughs> For okay. that, I'll make room. <laughs> Move the computer. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so we are getting involved with that. Uh, we're going to do one of our shirts as a giveaway as well. If you don't win the stadium, there's going to be three Pittsburgh Clothing Company shirts and then one of our shirts as well that you can win. So get involved. Uh, the links have been, you can go to his page. Uh, you can go to our page. Uh, what is his specific, David J. Resnick? I believe is that so. What it is? At uh, David, David J. Res F? Let me, let me check. I don't uh, think it was J. Uh, Isn't it F? It's F. I am... I'm David wrong. David F. Resnick. David F. Resnick. I'm off by a couple letters in the alphabet. Sorry, <laughs> David. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> was that it? David F. Resnick. <laughs> it was It was the order of the alphabet yeah. that was why you were I wrong. Knew, I knew what... N I couldn't <laughs> remember what a, number was. A, B, C, J. Uh, <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, Dizzle 2.0. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, give him a follow and, you know, get involved with that for sure. Um, but we will be... Next what? Monday is Swaggerty, right? Yeah, so we're gonna do Saturday at Steelers training camp. Yes, um, we got a full list ahead of us, man. We got yeah, a lot. So we got a, this is gonna be a big month, I think. Yeah. Um, so I kind of want to run it down. We're gonna run it down real quick. So Saturday training camp. If you're there, come say hi. If you plan on going, definitely come down. We'll tweet out where we are. Uh, next Monday, Travis Swaggerty. Don't know what time that's gonna be. And then after that, I believe what we're gonna do is take a break. We're gonna be switching to recording on Saturdays, right? Yeah. So I believe I the Saturday after that, the 18th, we will be. Skipping that, skipping the Monday after, and doing the next Saturday, right? Yeah, most likely. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. I mean, we're going <laughs> to talk about it, obviously, in our group message, but... Um, that is the plan. Right now, yeah. Tentative plan. Yeah, we will tell you if it um, changes. But yeah, definitely, I mean, thank God you brought that up again. So next year... Ne next year. This <laughs> week is going to be one <laughs> y one full year, 52 weeks of podcasts, yeah. and what better way to do it than with 2018 first-round pick, Travis Swaggy. Smitty's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Well, uh, talks to him more than until us. Saturday. Until Saturday, uh, we'll be live from Latrobe. Uh, you can follow us, SoundCloud, uh, like it on there, repost it, whatever you got to do. Buy our shirts. Uh, iTunes, if you listen on there, rate and subscribe. We haven't got many ratings, so do that. Follow us on Instagram too. We have one. We have an Instagram, YouTube. What else can I say? Just go buy one of our shirts, and we got Chris Archer. So trust the fucking. We are good. New shirt. Peace. Take that bullshit elsewhere. Self-care. We're gonna be.